Hey folks, this is a video about how to change a logo so that it communicates something differently. This is for the color branding um, assignment. So the first thing you're going to need to do is to choose a logo, right? Okay, so open up um, your browser and put in logo clip art. Logo clip art and hit images. And then you're going to find a slew of different logos. Okay, go ahead and choose one. There's a, you know, see more there if you want more. So select one. Um, you do that by clicking on it, right click, and you say save image as. You title it, logo, you put it where you want it to be, and then you click save. Okay, I'm going to cancel that because I've already saved one. All right. Next thing you're going to do then is go to Photo P. Um, open up that logo, file, open, find it wherever you've saved it, and it is right here. Okay. So um, if I look at image size, I can see that my logo is around two inches by two inches, approximately, right? And I always put mine on inches just because I'm more comfortable with that. So, but what I wanna do now is I wanna make the canvas, the canvas is the background here. I wanna make it two times or three times larger. I wanna be able to fit a total of six logos onto my canvas, okay? So what we need to do then, we need to go up here, we need to go to canvas size, click on that. And then I'm going to make my canvas uh, four by six. And I had to move my anchor point from the center to the top left corner. Um, and that will give me more space. You'll see where, what happens here. Make sure you move that anchor point. Click up in the top left corner. Okay, so here I go. So now, um, if you wanna see what it looks like, uh, hit Alt, and you can see that my magnifying glass goes from plus to minus. And then if I can click down, then you can see the entire canvas. So I have plenty of room now to put a total of six logos. So let's go to our selector here and I can move that a little bit. Now, if you hold down Alt Control together, hold, hold both keys down at the same time, and then you click and drag, it will automatically make a duplicate. Let's do it again then. Let's hold them both, click and drag. Let's do that again. Hold them both, click and drag, and click and drag. All right, so now I have a total of six logos. If um, it bothers you that you have extra canvas, we can always go up here and crop it. We know where our crop tool lives. It lives under image, crop, and then to get rid of the dancing ants, it is control D as in deselect, right? All right, so now I have six logos. And you can also see over here in the layers, there are also six logos. So when we manipulate one of the logos, you have to make sure that you're on the correct layer. So we're gonna start off on the background layer. We're gonna start off here. Now, if you want to also, one other thing, get rid of the, um, if you wanna get rid of the, background squares here, you could actually put white um, on the background. It doesn't bother me, um, but if you wanted to, you can do that as well. You just have to make sure you're on the background. You want to make sure then that the top foreground layer square here is white, and then you can drop it in and you can have white background, okay, if you want, all right? It doesn't matter, but um, okay, so here we go. So the first logo now, keep it the original. So what I'm going to do then, I'm gonna type on here, I'm gonna type on here, original. Okay, if I can't see it, maybe I'll make it uh, a little darker. I can uh, bold it up, go up here and, and let's see here, make it maybe, little bigger. Then we can see it. Okay, right there. There we go. Okay, so that is the original. All right. So now I have five more that I want to alter to communicate something differently. Okay, so we just, um, we've already been studying about how colors communicate and the psychology of colors. So 
for instance, now, if I wanted to make the superman into a superwoman, what might I do? Right? We've known now that Western American culture thinks of pink as a feminine color. So let's do that. Let's choose pink. I went here to the color picker, right? Down here. And I chose pink. I'm going to hit OK. And now I have pink here on my foreground color. Make sure now when we are, um, we're going to be using the paint bucket tool to dump color into our logos. Make sure it's open here. If you don't see it, it's probably hidden underneath the gradient tool. Okay, so just right click and hold and up will come your paint bucket. So now I have my paint bucket. Now I want to work on this, this um, logo here. So make sure that it's selected. And you can see then that it moved up the layer. This is the layer. And if I turn the eye here off and on, off and on, I can see that that's the layer that it is. If I go here, I can see that that's that layer. That's what this eye does. It hides the image, but it's really great to use so that you can identify which layer you're on. Okay, so now I'm on this layer, so it's ready to go. Choose my paint bucket, and um, I think I'm just going to bring it up a little bit more so I can see. So I'm going to change the red because I think the red is kind of macho, and I'm going to change that to a more feminine pink. So here I am. Am I on the right logo? I mean the right layer? Yes. So... I'm going to drop it in. Well, with one click, it changes the red. Okay, so then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to title it Power. Okay, and that's a little, maybe a little too big. Um, let's see here. Let's make it just a smidgey smaller so I get the whole word in. Okay, woman's power. All right. So can you already see then how by just changing one color, how it changes the communication of that logo? So what would I do with this logo? Um, maybe I'm going to think of, a, of being perhaps like a um, nature guy, right? And so what would I do? What color communicates nature, right? What do you think, guys? Green. Let's go for a darker green, maybe somewhere around oh, that color. I like that color green. Okay, so then we're going to go to the color bucket, and I'm going to change, though, this time the yellow. So wait, now let me click, and I'm going to show you what happens. So it says text layer. Okay, so we are not on the correct layer for this logo, are we? No. So let's go to the picker, come here, and you can see now it's jumped up here. Is that the right logo? Yes. All right, go back to our paint bucket and let's then click on the yellow. I want to get rid of the yellow. So you have to click wherever you see the yellow and pretty much like that. Okay, so then I'm going to type on it and I'm going to put nature guy, gal, nature, nature dude. That's what I'm going to put, right? Nature dude. Excellent. Okay. So now, though, I have three more to change. What will you do? All right. So that is um, how this uh, assignment works. When you're finished, um, make sure that you come up here and you export as JPEG, and then you'll be able to upload it into Schoology. Okay. Well, I hope this helps you guys. If you need any questions answered, just make sure that you ask, right?